All right, good afternoon, Eric. Good morning, everybody. It's so sunny, I'm thinking it's the afternoon. I want to say uh, thank everybody for coming for the official unveil of uh, Division 2 of the Sault Ste. Marie Police Service. Uh, my name is Lincoln Louder. I'm the manager of communication of the Sault Ste. Marie Police Service. And obviously, we, uh, we thank all of you for coming. Uh, quick reminder to our community and media partners, uh, today uh, will be an outside event only. Uh, we officially got access to the building yesterday, so we just wanted to uh, announce the building that we are here. We are committed to being down here, uh, uh, so unfortunately no tour today. Uh, I see a lot of our partners from the city, social services, Community Mental Health Association. Uh, obviously our board is here, so we thank all of you for coming down to, to celebrate this day with us um, this morning. Uh, first off, we want to thank our members you know, for their commitment. I know they've been hearing about this for, for a little bit, and they're wondering if it was going to come to fruition, so we thank them for their patience. Obviously, we thank uh, the Police Services Board for their commitment, as well as uh, Mayor Shoemaker and members of City Council for, uh, for seeing, helping us see this come to fruition. Um, first, we're going to move it over to His Worship, Mayor Shoemaker, for a couple of words. Mr. Mayor. Good morning, everyone. It's a true pleasure to be here at the announcement of a new downtown police station for Sault Ste. Marie. I want to thank the Police Services Board, represented today by Chairperson Bruno, Ian McKenzie, and Councillor Spina, who are also here from the board, as well as Chief Stevenson for taking this idea and making it a reality. I want to acknowledge that we've got some councillors with us, Councillor Bezuali, Councillor Caputo, Councillor Dufour that I've seen, and apologies if I've missed anyone else. As Mayor and former Police Service Board member, I understand the impacts that the local police service can have on the safety of a community. Our police service cannot arrest its way out of the challenges we face, but the sense of security provided by a police presence will provide innumerable benefits to our downtown core. Together, the city and police services must work to create a safer community. Under the leadership of Chief Stevenson, we are making progress, but I acknowledge that there remains a lot of work ahead of us. There's been quite a bit of coverage lately about some of the exciting plans the city is exploring for the downtown area, such as an urban beach and other potential developments being considered through our waterfront design plan. I'm committed to improving the downtown. I recognize that addressing both the crime that does exist and the sense of insecurity in the downtown is a major part of making those improvements work. I've heard the messages from downtown businesses who are represented here today. I've heard the message from downtown residents and I've heard that message from across the city. The opening of this new downtown police station represents a significant step towards creating a safer downtown where people want to spend their time at attractions and their money at local businesses. Locating a major police presence in the downtown is not unprecedented. As most of you likely know, before moving up to second line in the 60s, the police service operated from what is now the Crown Attorney's Office between Queen and Albert Street. This is far from the lone example in this regard. For decades, office and retail space has moved downtown from downtown to uptown. And I'm hopeful that with the addition of the social services building a couple of weeks ago, and the addition of the police station here today, we are stepping towards a major milestone in reversing that trend. There is so much untapped potential in the downtown area. Not many communities have ready access to the kind of natural beauty featured so prominently in this area through our waterfront and John Rosewell Hub Trail. Historically, we have not taken full advantage of the opportunities associated with the beautiful landscapes we have right here. But City Council is committed to righting that wrong by pursuing innovative projects and supporting common sense developments. Increasing police presence in an identified area of concern is one such investment. Alongside the boots on the ground security patrols approved by Council at its, last me at its meeting last month, I'm confident that these safety focused actions will help unlock the potential of the city's plans that we're working on and provide the maximum community benefit. Thank you for the opportunity to say a few words and I'll pass it back to Lincoln. Great. All right, thank you, Mr. Mayor. Uh, we now ask John Bruno, Chair of the Police Services Board, to say a few words. Sure, be busy. 
gives me um, great pleasure to see everyone here th today. It's a beautiful day, a warm day. Um, that This is an exciting moment, and I'm going to speak from my notes in a few minutes, but I wanted to acknowledge the turnout that came out today because it is wonderful to see everyone here. We're all partners. We're all people that have to work together in order to make things happen. And by showing your presence today, that's going to happen. On behalf of the Police Services Board, we are proud to bring this project to fruition. We thank Mayor Shoemaker and our community partners, many of whom are here today for their support of this project. Having a more significant police presence in the downtown was a priority for our community. So it is a priority for us. This is the first step and we'll continue to push towards that goal. We remain committed to the community, safety, and well-being and will explore every opportunity to enhance it. And I thank you again for coming this, this morning. Appreciate it. All right, thank you, Mr. Board Chair. And finally, obviously, we have our Chief of Police, Chief Hugh Stevenson, uh, with a few words of his off. Chief? Chief. Well, good morning, everybody. Am I shouting? I don't have a podium mic, so I want to make sure you can hear me. Yes? Okay, that was a test. <laughs> uh, this is a really significant day for the service. It's a significant day for this community. I take to heart our mayor's comments that our downtown is crucial to the success and the future of this city. And we've been asked several times over the last year, Chief, where's your presence in the down core? We're there. But it wasn't enough. We want to make sure that people in the Sioux and the communities around the Sioux that are served by this great city can walk downtown without fear. They can walk downtown knowing that someone has their back. I can guarantee you as your chief of police, we have your back. We want to see a greater police presence, whether it's in foot patrol, bike patrol, downtown patrols. We want our frontline members to go down the different businesses and say hello. My name's John and develop that relationship. I can tell you as chief, we haven't done a good job at that. And I'm very happy to fall on my own sword for that, but this will change it. Over the next few weeks, as we do changes to our building, as we put in facilities to, to uh, host our many platoons that are gonna be working down here, you will see a continued increase in police presence. And our job, and our collective job, and I take the mayor's comments, where we see so many different agencies here that support this move. It's crucial to our success. It's crucial to our downtown core. I wanna thank uh, the Station Mall that allowed us the opportunity to uh, stay at their facility very economically for the last two or three years since 2019. I want to thank uh, Mayor Shoemaker and the board and council for their commitment to us doing and moving towards this direction. I also want to thank my police services board, my chair, Kent, and Sonny that are here today for everything that you've done to facilitate this direction. I would remiss if I didn't speak to uh, our own membership, our executive, Inspector Dewar, Inspector Freeman, and Gary Mancuso. Gary, put your hand up. You're always the, the fellow that never yet he is head of our uh, building and fleet services. So as I said in my original comments, our goal is to maintain a stronger police presence in the downtown core. It is a promise you will see us. It'll take some time to hire people. As you know, hiring police officers in this province is much more difficult than it was 15 years ago. But right now we have maxed all of our classes to ensure that we have the maximum number of hires to come to this downtown core project. Division two will allow valuable community partners, starting with our crime stoppers and victim services to use the space for the most vulnerable in our community. 
This is going to be a community-driven initiative. With your support, we will continue to strive to be a modern police service for a safer tomorrow. Thank you. Okay, that concludes sort of the formal portion of, uh, of our event. Uh, to our media partners, Chief Stevenson, uh, Board Chair Bruno, and, and uh, Mayor Shoemaker will be available for interviews. I ask that uh, all partners that wish to partake, we'd love to take a nice big group photo. Obviously, this is a community event, and we want to highlight the fact that you did come out to support us. We very much appreciate that. So if our media friends are uh, patient, allow us to take a nice big group photo, we'll uh, make our dignitaries available for interviews in a short time. So thank you very much.